Hi guys, so let's look at this next question from CAT 2021 slot 3 that's from algebra. Okay, so fx is equal to x square minus 7x and gx is equal to x plus 3. Find the minimum value of f of gx minus 3 of 3x. Okay, so first of all, I need to calculate f of gx here. So I'll write f of x is equal to x square minus 7x. Okay, now what is f of gx here? So I will calculate f of gx here. Okay. So x will be just replaced with gx that is gx square and um, minus 7 into a gx. Okay. So now f of gx will become how much? So this will be equal to now gx is actually x plus 3. This will be equal to x plus 3 whole square minus 7 into x plus 3. So now I can write here. So what is my f of gx minus 3x? So f of gx minus 3x is equal to f of gx minus 3x is equal to uh, sorry it's outside so f of gx minus 3x is equal to this is the value of f of gx x plus 3 whole square minus 7 into x plus 3 and minus 3x so I can just solve it so I'll be getting x square plus 9 plus 6x minus 7x minus 21 minus 3x so x square and now a uh, 6x minus 7x is minus 3x that is equal to minus 4x and plus 9 minus 21 is minus 12 okay so what i need to let's say this is the let's write this whole thing as y so y is equal to some x square minus 4x minus 12 and i want to minimize this value i want to find the minimum value of y here okay so i want to find the minimum value of y so actually there are few methods to solve this question here so we'll discuss all that so that will give, give you a good idea and those who know that that will be a good revision. Okay. So first method to solve this question is that in this, this is a quadratic expression or this is a quadratic expression. Okay. So any quadratic expression is minimum. So I, I can write here y is minimum at x is equal to minus b by 2a. Okay. So for example, if I compare with the original equation of ax square plus bx plus c, so it, it will have a is equal to 1, uh, b is equal to minus 4 and c equal to minus 12. Okay, so x equal to minus b by 2a, so what that value will be equal to now minus of minus 4 is plus 4 by 2 into 1 is 2. So 4 by 2 equal to 2, 2. That means y is minimum at x equal to 2. So I can put here so that therefore y minimum will be equal to I can simply put x2 here. So 2 is square minus 4 into 2 minus 12. So if you solve this here, you will be getting 2 is square uh, that is uh, 4 minus 8 is minus 4 minus 12 is minus 16. So y minimum is minus 16. That's the answer for this question. Okay. That's one for now to solve such question. Okay. There's other other way also guys. So let's this is uh, let me just write this as method one here. This is method one. Okay. Method one. Okay. Now we have method two here. So in basically method two, what we'll be doing is uh, I know that any quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is is its minimum value is equal to directly minus d by 4a. Now what is d here? D is discriminant here. That is minus b is square minus 4ac by 4a. Okay. So now if we, if you solve this, so what I'll be getting there? I'll be so this is y here, y is minimum. Uh, so y minimum value, this y minimum value will be minus d by 4a, minus b square minus 4ac. Now what is b square here? So b is square here is b is minus 4, that is my 4 square 16 minus 4 into 1a1, a is 1 and c is minus 12 by 4 into a a is 1 that becomes uh, 16 plus 48 minus 64 by 4 that is equal to minus 16 so that's the answer for this question okay this is called minus 16 here okay now there's also method 3 here to solve this question guys now method 3 to solve such question is uh it's by completion of perfect square so basically we have got uh, x square minus 4 x minus 12 and I want to make it uh, make it into a perfect square. For example, I want to write in, into a perfect square. So what perfect square will suit here is p square uh, 
minus two p q plus q square. So I can convert this into p minus q whole square. Okay. Now if I observe this, so what is p here? So I can write that p is equal to x. So for me, p will be equal to x. So what is the value of q here? So minus two p q. So p is equal to x. So minus two q uh, minus two uh, q is equal to minus four. Therefore, q will be equal to two. So what I got? I got p minus q whole square. That means I can write x square minus four x minus twelve is equal to some p is x and q is two. X minus two whole square and some constant will be added or subtracted. Okay. So if you solve x minus two whole square, what you'll be getting is x square plus four. Uh, minus 4x. So actually, x square minus 4x is there. Now we have got plus 4. If I want a minus 12 here, so I need to subtract 16. Such that 4 minus 16 will become will become minus 12. Then I need to subtract a 16 here. Okay. So now I want I what I want here. So I want the minimum value of this. Okay. So to minimize this, so I know that any perfect square can never be negative. Okay, so its minimum value will be equal to zero. Its minimum value will be equal to zero. Okay, this is zero, and this is minus sixteen. So zero minus sixteen minus sixteen is again the answer. Okay, so these are basically three methods to so to minimize or ma maximize uh, any quadratic equation. Okay, depending on a is positive or negative, but here we have got uh, a as positive. So that means I will find the minimum value here, and there are three ways to minimize this: method one, method two, and method three. So hope all of you got this. Okay, so thank you. Okay, and many of you were asking for some offer. Okay, and so this they offered launch just now. Seeing the current scenario, that is March. So from March, there is a nine month subscription on which till thirty first, thirty first March, you get this offer of three months free. So in the cost of nine months, you get that twelve month subscription, and that is actually uh, you just need to apply a referral code Ravi Roda here. And you get this in this price actually. Okay, so apart from all the live classes, so every uh, every day I take some four hours of live classes. So apart from all the live classes, those who don't prefer live classes, those who those who want to get uh, watch only recordings. Many see many people prefer live class also because the doubts get cleared there. You don't get bored in the class. Okay, so all those things are the benefits of live classes. But if you don't want live classes, then there is some on if it about only my course, then seven hundred. Plus LRDA sets of high quality, LRDA sets uh, of high quality, and some three thousand uh, questions, three uh, thousand plus quant questions. This is only mine. That is solved by me actually. Okay, this is only my course are available av available at an academy. And apart from this, you get all the mocks. So all the mocks, there is some practice session of eight thousand around twenty plus mocks will be getting. There is some practice section. So There are some nine thousand only in quant, so nine thousand questions in quant plus in LRDI plus uh, I think total more than fifteen k questions are available. Okay, in the practice section, so no book is required. Apart from that, there are top quality, uh, top verbal faculties are there. Okay, so you can study verbal. Uh, so basically, all in in one subscription. It's work. It works like Netflix. Okay, so all you get in only one subscription. So this is offered till this offer is valid till thirty first March. So you can use this. Okay, thank you.